Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter and today I'm gonna to show you a quick tip on how to edit videos using waveforms. After editing in Final Cut 10 for quite some time, I have found a much faster way to edit those long dialogue periods of videos. So if you shoot corporate videos, um, even wedding interviews, really anything with interviews or talking voice related stuff where you need to cut out all the ums, blank spaces, actual questions, and just get to the meat and the little sound bites, this is an awesome tip. So let's head over to the computer and jump right in. All right, guys, I have a project open here, and this is straight out of the camera, no color correction, nothing has been done to this clip. And I wanted to show you the power of using waveforms to edit instead of visually editing. Now, this isn't gonna be applicable to every single project, but if you're editing someone speaking or something audio intensive like a documentary or a YouTube video, this is a great way to edit. So. I am going to go in here and you probably are familiar with using something like this where you see yourself or you know the visual of the timeline as well as the waveform right down there as a small little you know waveform track. I'm going to switch things over to display only the waveform and you can even change the size obviously. And this is almost always how I edit videos. And you can probably start to see why this is so powerful. Right away, I'm starting to see these big open areas where um, I need to make cuts. And I can also tell right here, we've got a couple little spots where I'm guessing, and I swear to you, I have not watched this yet, um, I made mistakes because I'm starting and then stopping and starting and stopping. So let's play that back real quick. And the first thing I want to talk about is why you should use a background. And the first thing I want to mention, and the first thing I want to talk about is why you would want to use a paper. So yeah, made some mistakes here. And after editing myself a lot, I can start to spot these pretty quickly. So um, without even playing through it, I can see where I need to make some cuts. And the power of this is if I was just visually editing, I would start editing right here and waste my time making cuts until I found the actual start of this soundbite where I you know, didn't screw up. So um, editing with waveforms is really, really powerful, especially for clips like this where I'm not gonna go anywhere. I'm just gonna be seeing more of my face talking, which is not necessary for making a uh, rough cut. And there's actually other benefits as well. You know, the computer isn't having to generate all these little thumbnails as I go through the timeline. So it's just more powers going toward whatever Final Cut needs to be doing. So that's really it guys, just a tip for faster editing. Uh, let me know if you have any tips. I'd love to hear um, anything Final Cut related to help you edit faster. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.